Hi, amigos from Esquina del Cine.com. We're here with Miguel Rodriguez. He Hello. is the curator and, and he organizes the section Un Mundo Extraño here in San Diego Latino Film Festival. He also has uh, his own horror festival, which is called Horrible Imaginings. That's me. And a podcast also, which is from within <laughs> the... Which the is, I've, I've listened to a few episodes. Actually, mm -hmm. I wanted to start with a weird thing. I know you're a fan, too, of The Projection Boot. I yes. listen to that podcast a lot. And it was weird that I was listening to it. And it came up in the feed, uh, Ross Meyer special, <laughs> and there with you. And I was, oh, that's really cool that you were yeah. invited. So Mike's I don't know. a good friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. So that was really, because I'm a fan of the podcast, and it was like interesting to see you pop out in there, because I've been following you from the podcast, the festival, and from the San Diego Latino selection you make, yes. which is the one... I haven't been able to make it to your festival, but... It's okay. We'll forgive you this time. <laughs> okay. But last <laughs> year, I saw all the all the movies you brought here, which mm -hmm. was like Scarso Diabolico, Plan Sexenal, uh, which I don't even remember anymore. Los Parecidos, I don't know. Los Parecidos, Los Parecidos. was me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, in this year, you have a new set of movies you brought mm -hmm. to the... To this section, Un Mundo Extraño, which would translate as a, ex a, a strange, strange world, world or bizarre world. <laughs> so what could you tell us about that section of so, the festival, your section? Um, Un Mundo Extraño this year is really exciting for me because we've got uh, a short film block as well. Yeah. And that'll be next Friday. But we've got five feature films. And um, out of those five, four of them are from Mexico. Yeah. I think that's the first time this has happened. We usually have films from Brazil and films from Argentina and films from Spain and all yeah. over. But, uh, but I feel like right now, especially in the last few years, but right now even more, the genre is getting a big lift in Mexico. Yeah, that's weird, right? What do you think is happening down there? I, with, with us, no? I should know because <laughs> I'm from Mexico, but maybe I you should ask you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I actually had the chance on the uh, Horrible Imaginings yeah, official yeah. podcast that you mentioned, I spoke with Carlos Melendez, who did Hysteria, mm -hmm. which is showing tonight, and um, I asked him that very question. A and there are, it's a very complicated answer, I think, but part of it, I think, is that um, the Mexican film industry uh, went very kind of home video and indie in the yeah. 80s for, for video home. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. And all of the people who were kids with video home are now grown up. Yeah. And they can pick up cameras and make films. And make the films like they saw them back like then. Like they right? saw them. But they're also... Um, they're all, I mean, the filmmakers that are coming out, like uh, Lex Ortega yeah, yeah. and, and um, oh, well, Carlos Melendez, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they are, they're bringing more depth to the films. Mm -hmm. the, the films are, are wild and they're irreverent and they're crazy, but there's a lot of social um, yeah, context. The, there's a lot of messages. I think the really interesting thing is that it's not only happening like in Mexico, it's happening oh, yeah. like in the genre. Uh, in As a whole. Like in general, mm -hmm. because, you know, Get Out, I think, I believe... Oh. One of I my favorite films of the it, year. Right? Oh yeah, it's brilliant. Only of the year, I think, from a lot of years. For many years. years. <laughs> Maybe like The Witch might be up the there. The Witch is one of my favorites, yeah. It's mm -hmm. really interesting that these movies that are being made in every part of the world or every kind of budgets are having like these kind of plots, no? Or these yeah. kind of stories. Yeah, and it's funny because um, a lot of people I've talked to, we're getting some like, get, get to talk about horror now, which yeah, is yeah. My, my thing. But... Um, <laughs> I talked to a lot of people and they're like, there's this new thing with horrors being elevated. And for me, I feel like it's not new. Maybe, I feel yeah. it's more old. So the, the people who are making films like The Witch and well, Get Out is new in a lot of different ways. Yeah, that's but um, it follows The Witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these, uh, um, Goodbye Mommy, Good Night Mommy rather, they are kind of more like... Edgar Allan Poe-ish, Nathaniel, yeah. like old literature horror. The Babadook sort of. Like the Babadook a, is a perfect yeah, yeah. example. So, and even older horror from maybe the 40s and the 50s. Yeah. Um, and Euro horror from that era, like Les Diabliques and things like yeah, that. Really cool. Where uh, the, the genre always had elevated and more in more depth But like for films. some strange reason, it's coming to the limelight recently yeah. in a couple of 
few we've, three four years right we've got raw opening in san diego on the 24th oh cool at landmark that's yeah. coming to the can and they usually get the artsy yeah, yeah, films yeah, yeah. and the, yeah they get the french no, and cannibal the, girl movie and the and weird thing that is that movie it's coming to tijuana also uh, yeah like in a couple of months I never Good. expected to train to Busan to come to Mexico and Tijuana ah. because the language barriers and everything like that. And that movie came to, to Mexico. That, that is, you're really lucky. Weird, really interesting. So that's a masterpiece. Yeah, that's a that's really a great zombie movie. Yeah. In Hopefully. a movie in general, but a zombie movie, I always tell that you can't do anything new with the zombies. I mean, everything's been done. And, and they proved you wrong, movie, They proved me wrong. Yeah, really. <laughs> so, you know, to bring it back a little bit to here because we can't spend like hours talking about No, we could. We could, we could. We could, but, but we can't, yeah. So, you know, Specific of the movies you have this year, yes. I don't know if you could tell us about uh, a brief thing. Let's about go each, each one. Each, yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll start with in the order that, yeah, that yeah, we're going to sure. show them. Um, at 9.40 tonight, we'll have Los Dicentes. Yeah. Now, this one I call the outlier film. It's the one that kind of uh, some people think it might not quite fit. Yeah. Uh, because it's more of a dark comedy uh, class. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it, the reason it fits in Un Mundo Extraño is... Um, the situations are really absurd yeah. and the characters are really absurd. Everything's a little bit exaggerated and um, what you have is you've got two different types of people put next to each other yeah. and it causes tension yeah. and the tension is... Yeah, that's, that's something the thing is you don't necessarily need a monster sometimes. No. It's just the mood that the movie gives you. That There's a horror, right? Or there are the frights in the moods or the atmosphere. And I think, I think only one movie of the five is a traditional monster boo kind of horror which movie. Which would be which one? Which would be 1974. Oh, the found footage one, The right? found footage yeah. one. That's the one uh, that uh, Victor is showing tomorrow yeah. night. And we'll have the director there. But uh, that one is remarkable. Let me talk about 1974. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I was watching the films to decide what I was going to show. And it was 3 in the morning. And I had my headphones on on my computer yeah. watching the screeners. <laughs> and um, that one made me get up and turn the lights on. Oh. It's creepy. And I don't even like found footage that yeah. much, but he filmed it completely on 8mm film. That's interesting. I read about that. Yeah. It's like on film and with technology that supposed to exist from that era. He had right? to get the cameras from LA yeah, and yeah, get yeah. the film from another place. That's it really it took him almost five years to and make it. It's a Mexican film, film right? That's, he's, it's a that's Mexican also film. Also, the interesting thing. Oh, yeah. Because there have been a couple of found footage movies like. Archivo mm -hmm. 253 uh, was uh, atrocious. Lost, which went well, oh, yeah. perdidos. It's from yes, Diego perdidos. Cohen, right? But I don't know if it's even shown here. But I don't think so. That's like the few no. fun footage movies I remember from right. the last. <laughs> <laughs> Get them over here. I'll show them. Um, but yeah, this one is a. It's a really solid, very yeah. atmospheric, creepy film, and I can't wait to show it like at night. You know, with a group of people. The one everybody's expecting, I think, is Tenemos la Carne, right? Tenemos we, la Carne. We all have the flesh. We yeah, are the flesh. we are the flesh. Um, we call it, we're calling that our centerpiece film. And I and I got to hand it to Latino Film Festival for letting me <laughs> that was program really, that one. Yeah, because I, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen like previews. I've seen the interviews. I've seen everything about the movie. And it's well, it looks like a real strange film. It's very strange. It's very strange. Well, here's what I'm afraid of with Tenemos uh, La Carne, uh, uh, We Are the Flesh. I'm afraid you're going to get two different types of people who are going to expect something and not yeah. get what they expect. And, and I don't want to say they'll be disappointed, but um, it's, it's a film that really explores our psychosis and, um, and why we kind of confuse sex and violence so yeah. much. And so it has a lot of both of those things, mostly sex. <laughs> um, and I think the reason it's so controversial is because it's really explicit with what it shows. And uh, but it's not like it's not a sexy movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it shows everything, but it's everything's really kind of I don't know. It's abstract, yeah, you know. Yeah. So um, and the film is abstract, but it's beautifully shot. That's the Emiliano. Um, uh, Mi Minter. Minter film and uh, and that was also partly backed by Inorito as well. Yeah, I saw. So uh, yeah. yeah, there's there's a lot going on with that uh, film. Another one I've been expecting is Las Tinieblas or mm -hmm. Darkness. The Darkness, yeah. Uh, Sabron, Simbron. Yeah, Daniel Simbron. Uh, he's he's very brilliant. Um, I had him on the podcast too, and he's a very. Uh, abstract thinker he thinks yeah. of things he's a painter mm. and so he he films his film like a painting the camera will stay on these beautiful shots and in uh in uh, las tinieblas it's very 
like the woods and the fog yeah, and it's very creepy with gas people with gas masks yeah, yeah. yeah and um and it's also it's a great image people with oh, gas masks it's mask. fantastic it's <laughs> And especially when uh, a lot of times you see that and it's like soldiers or, yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, but, but in this crazies, one, remember it, the, crazies? the crazies, exactly. The yeah, 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 yeah. And they show up in like the blob remake. Yeah, sure. But in this one, it's a family. It's a father and his kids. Yeah. And so it's a little bit like kind of more twisted that way. And also like the father makes these marionette puppets okay. and uh, and performs these shows for his kids. For the oak. And the puppets the, are really interesting. So that one's good. Um, and I guess the last film is Hysteria. Okay. which is uh, Carlos Melendez's film. And that one, it's kind of similar to uh, Los Dicentes in oh, that. And you, you mentioned Falling Down in the podcast, oh, right? Yes. Yeah. The Michael Douglas film. The Michael Douglas film. Uh, Carlos said that, you know, it could make an interesting double feature yeah. with Falling Down. Um, but the difference being that in Falling Down, there are two big differences. In Falling Down, Michael Douglas goes crazy at the beginning and, lo and just does crazy things throughout yeah. the film. And as the audience, we're like, yeah, tear shit up. You know, or, so, I don't know, can I say shit? <laughs> no, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Tear shit up. You know, we, we, get, we, get, we cheer them on. We're yeah. excited. In Hysteria, it is very gradual. Okay. So it's slow, and it, it's this architect, and he's a very, you know, proper man. And all this stuff keeps happening to him. He keeps getting okay. abused. And over the course, he eventually will slowly start cracking. So you see the transformation over time, over the course of the film. And when he does finally kind of lose it, no spoilers, Spoiler. but <laughs> obviously Hysteria is the name of yeah, the film. Um, we don't cheer him on really. It's kind of depressing. It, yeah, it, okay. it, it's more of a real look at rage and wh how anger and rage are kind of a cancer. And, uh, and I think that is what makes it, and I think that's also what would make it an interesting pairing with yeah, Falling sure. Down. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's we covered all the movies and yeah. a little bit more, but that's like we can keep going. You we, need to come down some more. Going. So, so those those are the films to see the complete schedule of San Diego Latino Film Festival in Un Mundo Bizarro, Un Mundo Bizarro, Un Mundo Extraño. Extraño. Oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, you can check the San Diego Latino official page. Mm -hmm. We also gonna ch uh, put the like the schedule yeah. the, under the video. If you want an easy, quick look at okay. the Un Mundo Extraño films, anyway. Um, my Facebook cover photo, I listed everything, okay. times and dates, and, uh, and it's on the Horrible Imagines Yeah, I saw too. them on the web. And also, if you want to talk a bit about the festival you, you, you make, oh, Horrible yeah. Imaginings, what you're preparing for this Actually, year. this is great for if you have filmmakers yeah, who yeah, watch so this. We are currently accepting submissions. And if you are in Tijuana, um, you get, let's just say your chances are a little bit better because we're looking for TJ films. Okay. Um, so that <laughs> you heard we that. are specifically looking for TJ films. So make genre. Uh, yeah, make genre the, films. When is the deadline? The, the deadline will officially. The deadline is uh, May thirtieth for you the have submissions. Like two months to make a yeah. movie. So. But we do have an extension <laughs> that'll get you into June. Okay. Um, and the festival will be September eighth through ten. Okay. And that'll be in Balboa Park at the Museum of Photographic Arts. And um, you know we're still. It's been nine months now that we're in the top 100 best reviewed film festivals yeah, list I saw worldwide. The film yeah, really cool. we're really excited about that. So, um, and those those reviews come from filmmakers who visited. Yeah, yeah. You and know, they put the reviews. Oh yeah, the, okay, we're so we're very honored and humbled by the things people are saying. So, uh, join the family. Be one of those filmmakers. Submit. So if you heard that, you can participate in Horrible Imaginings. How, mm -hmm. how many editions of the festival are there being? This will be our eighth our annual eighth, so film festival. You can festival. be part of something that Number is eight. still growing, and yeah. I think it's going to get bigger every time. Uh, we're year. busting our butts to yeah. make that happen. But that's yeah. really cool. I always, we really, we never see the, the work that's made behind any, any mm. festival. But when we talk to you, when we talk to Ethan, who uh, organizes this festival, we appreciate the hard work that it's oh, made to yeah, make a festival of any kind, any size. So that's it's really like cool. it's like making a film. I mean, and, in a lot of ways. And it's because the passion first, right? Of for course. The, oh yeah, the it's not money. I'll tell you that. My empty, my empty so wallet. So thank you very much, Miguel, for <laughs> thank talking you. to it's us. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Yeah, so and uh, if you want press access to horrible imaginings, sure. just send we, me we, send me the email and you're in. Okay, we're gonna take right. your word for that. Of course. So thank you for tuning in, and we're gonna see. Well, come to all the movies he's showing. Again, we repeat you. We're gonna put the links to the schedule. And we're going to see you soon.